97.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Supplying every demand. On demand. You can always uh, send us a message at Ben and Kelly Show. Um, we'll toss it out to the group and uh, try to get you help. Uh, this one from Jess. She says, I never thought a breakup would go like this. I'm 32 and my boyfriend, well, ex-boyfriend is 31. This weekend he broke up with me. Never saw it coming. Things were going well for us, or at least I thought. He even says he loves being with me, but he's not sure if we should be together long term and wants to explore options. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's more. Wait. Wait. That's somewhat understandable, I guess. But then he, but then he dropped this bomb on me. He said, if we are both still single at age 40, we should be together. Come on now. That translates to, I think you're a pretty good person, but I think I could do better. So let me exhaust all my options. You're my backup plan. I really yeah, that's like exactly what that translates to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She says, I really like this guy. And I thought we actually had a long term future together. But I am I a fool for thinking this may work out. Yes. Next. <laughs> I think that we can fix this one really quickly. Listen, if he doesn't understand and see and recognize your worth right now, Missy, you need to move on. Sorry, Jess, you need to move on. Yeah, so that's what he he's saying. All right, look, eight years. Didn't um wasn't there a real um pact like that between um some actors in Hollywood, like uh George Clooney and um who was it? I it don't was, think so. It was, a bu- it was a bunch of them, and they were like, "Hey, if we're still all single at like fifty, we should get together or something like that." And and of course, George Clooney got him, got married and all that stuff, but. Um, yeah, no. And again, my best friend's wedding. That was a movie about this, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think they ended up together, right? Uh, Jessica posts on Facebook, move on. Alyssa mm-hmm. says, girl, no. Value yourself more than that. You're just the backup. You deserve better. So I th- Yes, I think we're all going to be in agreement I, I, of this. Think- now, listen, it, he may figure it out. Mm-hmm. He may, you know, leave and, and re- then realize Why do you say what this? he left. Right. But how I I'm, because I lived through it. So <laughs> right, okay, all right, <laughs> and it worked out for me. Yeah. But you have to completely let go mm-hmm. of that. You have to set him free. You can't like leave the door open. You just got to move on with your life. And then if you know if serendipity happen, happens, yes. right, right, and you w- find yourself together in a coffee shop eight years from now. Sipping mm-hmm. on a cappuccino, and you look over at each other and go, "Hey, isn't that Bill?" Uh huh. And Bill is—I don't—I don't know his name. And Bill is like, <laughs> "Hey, isn't that Jess?" And then you guys uh-huh. get back together, and then all of a sudden and it's like, he "Figures it out." Hey, we should try again. And then you're like, "Oh it was yeah, you all along." Oh, it was yeah, you. Yeah, sounds like a great movie. But for now, no, move on. Don't leave the door open. All right. Is there? I mean, I'd be curious if there's anybody who is currently in one of those situations like is currently like all right listen i i know that what we went through just now wasn't ideal but you're really hot and <laughs> and oh i my God. and i want to and i want to see this uh work out so if we're still single in 10 years then we get back together um, yes lexi she says this reminds me of a childhood promise you make with your best friend when you're 8 move on <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, okay, That'd we're gonna more get appropriate for children. Well, we're ancient. When we're like twenty, we're gonna get married. Uh huh. No, right. let's just l- listen, Jess. You need to know your worth, and you go find someone that knows that instantly. Yeah. Or maybe this guy will figure it out, but it, not when he's forty. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people that are point Missy's all like, yeah, totally my best friend's wedding. Uh, this is the same scenario out of that. I mean, everybody, if, if we're looking at the comments, I mean, and and, uh, now don't get me wrong. I told you it was going to be easy. I I know, but don't get me wrong. I I was going to (laughs) say the comments are always, they are almost always extreme in one direction. So like, you know, take the comment section with a grain of salt. 
but <laughs> but everybody right now is saying move on. So well, it's easy for us to say because we don't have the emotions involved. Exactly, we 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 have taken the the emotion out of this decision for you. So, but uh, I think that's what Jess needed to hear, though, uh, because yeah. she's clouded by the emotions. I guess so. All right, uh, I don't know where else to go on this, but uh, we may have solved it. Um, I'm so. putting a stamp on it. That's solved. <laughs> Next case. <laughs> Emily says, can I let my husband go until he's 40 and see if he gets any better? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Emily, I think that's legal, too. I think, I think all is fair, right? Uh, I don't think there's really much more uh, to go with our group therapy uh, where Jess had said it was kind of a uh, what was the movie with um, uh, Dylan McDermott? My best friend's wedding kind of a situation yep. where he broke up with her and but is like, hey, love you, mean it. And if we're still single at 40, we should get back together. And so she's like, I'm a fool if I think this is like real right and so yes okay like, so now we know how that movie ended right, right. so dermot mulrooney Mul- mulrooney found someone cameron diaz and his best friend was julia roberts mm-hmm. she tried to break them up yep but you know she's still single at the end of the movie uh it's funny we loves cameron we got a direct message from someone because i was like i wonder if anybody is actually like living this right now and i got a message from a woman who was like i'm currently in a quote deal with my ex, that if we're no. still single at 50, that we'll get back together. So a little bit more time has passed. But, all but, right. but then she says, uh, after hearing all these comments, I'm thinking maybe this isn't such a great deal. <laughs> well, you know what? It's nice to have that in the background. I guess. But don't, like, stay single thinking that's going right. to be your happily ever after. Like, be, be open to Prince Charming finding you. Uh, Emily says, hey, speaking from experience, do not wait. Do not be a fallback. It will show him that what he's doing is okay. And it'll happen over and over anytime something, quote, better comes around. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So, all right. If you want to uh, leave your comment, you can. Uh, that's uh, posted at 9970JX there on Facebook. So you can kind of uh, uh, come back and you can take a look at that and then. It, maybe you're not in a spot right now where you can use your phone. You can uh, always c- come back and take a look at that with group therapy.